Good morning, ladies. Um, it's a gorgeous day again in Pennsylvania. I am going to try to run over a few things here this morning. Um, there's a few announcements. I want to remind you that there is a 15% off stamp set sale today going on with Stampin' Up. That is specific stamp sets. Um, and I can give you a list of those if you haven't seen them. I did post them and send an email with them. So if you want to order any of those or take advantage of that, please let me know by 6 o'clock today. I will be putting in an order. I want to remind you that um, Stampin' Up's October Paper Pumpkin is Christmas cards and I'm sure they're going to be gorgeous like they have been in the past. There will be eight cards from what I have seen. And um, you need to subscribe for that by October 10th if you want to make sure that you're going to get it. I'm going to be participating again this year in the Stop and Shop um, at a local Amish on Otterbein Church Road, that is October 7th. I do have more details about that. If you're interested, please let me know, and I can send you a copy of that flyer. World Card Making Day is Saturday, October 3rd. Um, we're uh, doing a challenge for September to make a Thinking of You card or um, something that you're caring about someone else. Take a picture and post it on West Creek Stampers and mail it by October 3rd. Um, if you are not on Facebook and can't get that posted, send a picture to me or bring it here and I can take a picture for you um, to enter that contest. And um, for the September challenge, I have two packs of retired DSP that I'm going to be giving away one of those. I'll do a drawing from everyone who enters. Um, today I want to um, show you the cards that were from this past Saturday was our Moveless um, team event and these are the cards that you got if you participated and purchased that stamp set and card kit. The stamp set that was featured was wrapped in Christmas, so for your um, fee, you would get this kit plus the kits for all of the cards that I'm going to show you. And the words from that set were used in each of these. So there are different um, stamp sets from the um, Christmas catalog, the small one that... Um, are featured along with those words from Wrapped in Christmas. That is one of them using the Snowflake Bundle. This one is using the um, Dove of Peace Bundle. This one is using the Poinsettia Bundle. That event was virtual again. Uh, hopefully we'll someday be able to meet again at Norlo. But this is from, oh, I can't remember the name of this one. Something about building a wreath. Uh, but there's quite a variety of things on that stamp set. The Surround Yourself in Love is the stamp from Wrapped in Christmas that was used in that. Here's another one that features some of the DSP, and um, this verse is from the um, stamp set wrapped in Christmas. This one is featuring the um, metallic paper pack cardstock that we have in the new catalog, and the embossing folder um, I believe it's evergreen. I don't always remember all the names of these things, but I know where they are. I can look them up if you are interested. And then this one is also using the snowflake. Um, this verse is from the Wrapped in Christmas. 
Okay, so I have an extra kit from my card, which was the Dove of Hope. If you want, if you're interested in getting that, like and comment this video. I will do a drawing tomorrow evening, and someone um, who has watched the video, liked and commented, will get the kit for um, that particular card that I did. Okay, so uh, a couple things I want to um, tell you about today is the silicone mat, and my, that is sold by Stampin' Up. It is useful for a lot of different things. Mine is a little dirty, and I'm going to show you right off how to clean that because we need it clean for one of the ways we're going to use it. So I just take, um, you can take just water and a washcloth. I just take a wipe. This is a wet one and wipe it off any glue or residue that's on there. There's a lot of different ways that people um, use this. And one of them is using detailed dyes. So for anything small or detailed, um, anything like the wings on this dove. This is a two-piece wing, so you have a solid section and then a section that is cut out um, with a die cut. So for all those small areas, one way you can use this um, silicone mat is to just lay it down backwards. Well, with the wrong side up. And you can go across that with your adhesive. And it doesn't, um, when I rub across there, there's nothing sticky. The adhesive goes on. The ones that have the dots work well. But then I have made up this card to show you how this works. Here's another way. If you're working on some things and you have tape on something already and you don't want it to lay it on your paper because it's going to stick tight and you're going to have trouble picking it up, lay it on your silicone mat till you're ready to use it. I have done that already. I have put tape on um, even the card front and decided I'm not ready to put that down yet. And so then I'll lay it on my silicone mat. Okay, so here is another way to put glue on those detailed things. Put a dot of, I use this quite a bit. This is the green, some people call it green glue. I call it Tombow glue. Take a piece of your sponge and go across the back of there. That makes it tacky. It doesn't get on your paper and stick to your other things. And then you can put it right on. Sometimes I'll take a block or sometimes my phone and lay across that to hold it till it gets sticky. But there is another way. And I'm going to put another birthday on here. Hopefully I can get this straight. This is with the well said and well written, well said stamp set and well written dies. Okay, so those are two of the ways. Um, vellum is something that is hard to glue, and you can use, I don't have a piece here right now, but you can use a dot of the glue and the sponge to get a light coating of glue on the back of your vellum because oftentimes when we put the vellum down on something we um, will see the glue. So here's an example um, of a vellum paper. Uh, for this I took little dots and put behind any place that this um, 
brocade design was on there so you wouldn't see it, but you could use the glue. Okay, so anytime you're going to do taping and getting close the edge, say you have a real skinny strip, and I'm going to grab something here real quick. And wouldn't you know, I'm not seeing a skinny strip. So I'm going to take a piece of scrap that I have here and show you. I want to get tape right along that edge. So I'm going to lay it on my silicone mat and go right down along there. And then I can put it onto whatever I'm gluing to. And I'm not going to have a mess on my work paper that I'm working on. If you use a hot glue gun, you can rest your hot glue gun tip right on this. You know how they drip sometimes. And it's not going to melt the silicone mat. And it's going to keep it off of other things. Um, let's see. As a palette, you can use this as a palette you take your ink pad you can do that one of two different ways you can take your ink pad put some ink on there and I don't have anything specific that I'm gonna paint here today I do have a piece of the shimmery white cardstock but I'm going to get that on there and it makes, makes a nice, smooth color. So one of the other ways, and you're not making another a mess on something else. You can use your acrylic blocks for that also, but the acrylic mat. The other thing you can do is put a dot of your um, reinker on there. And I just dropped my watercolor pen. And so you can smear it around with a little water and get the dark or light shade. You will get a little darker shades if you use your reinker. So, and I'm not a fantastic watercolor. I would use this to make a background. But there is another way to use your silicone mat. Um, we're going to show you another thing here, how to do a mirror image. So here is the mirror image that I did with the Free as a Bird stamp set. And I'm going to clean off this mat and then show you how we did that. So... I um, colored mine with the blends, and that does bleed through in the back. So what I did um, was I used the note cards, and then I cut a piece of Whisper White for the front of that so that you wouldn't see the bleeding through on the inside. Okay, so I want to make sure that is dry, which it is not. And I have a brown pair of pants on, so that is going to get wiped right on there. I'm going to close this misty moonlight. And I am getting ink all over myself. So this is what we're going to put our image on. And the first thing we're going to do... is stamp one of the birds right onto the silicone mat with the memento ink. And it's a little light in one area. I might not have had that completely dry. So we're going to lay our cardstock right on there. And I'm going to take this block 
that I was using to weight down. I do use my blocks for other things than holding stamp pads. Not sure how dark this is going to come out. There is a way to do this, and that did not come out very dark. So we're going to try that again. Um, the one that I showed you is the one that I did, and it came out pretty well. Okay, so I'm going to flip this mat over and make sure I have that inked good. And I'm going to stamp that bird on there again and push down on there pretty well and we're gonna eyeball where we want that to be and we're gonna go right there and i'm gonna rub 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 and push and i don't see my bone folder handy Maybe so. Here it is. So I'm going to rub and push. And hopefully we get a little darker image this time. And we did. Perfect. That's what we wanted. And then we're going to take the bird and stamp it right beside and I am kind of eyeballing this you can do it um, you can try to do it more accurate measuring and using something to mark where you want to put them but I think I'm gonna be happy with that so all we need to do now is you can do this with anything that faces a certain direction, to the right or to the left. I'm going to stamp that on there. I'm going to stamp some of the leaves from that stamp set. Again, that is from Free as a Bird. And we're going to come in with some leaves again here. Now all this needs is colored. And I think I will just give this kit away as well. I'll have two drawings from uh, this video, one with the reverse stamping um, the bird and one with the dove card. So that one is ready to go and put together. It would just need colored. Okay, one of the other things that I wanted to show you today, well, we're talking about this silicone mat. Um, I showed you the reverse. Uh, we talked about different ways to use glue on it, to use ink on it as a palette, how to clean it up. Um, also, sometimes in the Stamparatus, and I don't have my Stamparatus out here today, sometimes in the Stamparatus, um, with the um, stamp that you're using, you might need just a little bit more height to get a good image. And you can lay this, it's a perfect size, you can lay that right in your Stamparatus to give it um, a little lift there's also, you can use this in your Stamparatus for the reverse mirror imaging. So I am going to show you one other thing on the adhesive. And this we talked about before I used, I showed you the, um, the foam adhesive sheets that um, raise the letters up. Today, I'm going to show you how to use just the regular adhesive sheets. And where are my scissors? I'm going to grab a pair of scissors. I always think I'm totally ready, and 
then I'm not. So I'm going to, uh, I have a piece of cardstock about the size of what I want to cut um, or run through the die cut machine. And this has, this adhesive sheets has um, paper on two sides. So we're going to peel off the one side and put it, whoops, I got the wrong thing. Whoops. Okay, so that was, now this is where my silicone mat would have come in handy, cause see how that sticks tight there. Okay, we are going to get another piece. So there's nothing like showing you the wrong way to do things. I'm gonna cut a pe another piece off of the adhesive sheets. And we need to peel. That's one of the reasons there are splits across those adhesive sheets. And that's what I cut that first piece off of, but since Since I laid that down wrong and didn't have my silicone mat there, then we're in trouble. Okay. So. And I see Pat, Sandy, Karen. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to try to get this off of here. There we go. And this time... I'm going to put the correct side down. Okay, so we are going to put our happy on here. We already have two happies on there. That showed a couple different techniques. That's going to stay there. I'm going to bring in the new cut and emboss machine. And I'm going to raise this up a little bit so you can see it a little better now I have not used this yet I in fact I just put it together um, so I'm gonna show you a little bit about it it does fold up nicely and we're almost not even quite high enough let me see what I can do here I can pull up anymore. It looks like we might be up as high as we go. There we go. And then you'll see my big mess all over the table. So um, it does fold up nicely like that. And the um, base plate on this one gives you details and pictures and numbers about how to use your plates and what to use with what, like the top one, using with thin dies. We know we need to use number one, number two, and number three. This is number one. So it goes down here. This, this is number two. That goes down next. Okay. And it says do not use with um, embossing folders right on there. Now we're going to put down one of our plates, number three, and there are two of them, two number threes, and it shows you that here. I don't know how well you can see that since I have that lowered, but it shows you. Number one, number two, and number three, there are two pieces to that. So we're going to put down number three. We're going to put down our happy I'm going to make sure I have the right side down there. And we're going to put down 
number three on top. And we're going to run that through. It does go through very smooth. And I'm going to pull this out of the way. I'm going to pull our card back in here and perhaps our silicone mat. Now, when I'm raised up, you can see my little mess is all over the table. I try to put everything close by so I can grab it. I write myself notes. Okay, so we are all cut out. And uh, that's the paper on the back coming out. I need to get a hold of my happy. And there we are now. We need to peel the rest of the paper off of the adhesive sheet. And we are sticky here. If I wasn't ready to use that right now, I would just lay it down here. Okay, so here we go. And we're going to put happy there. So there's three different ways that you can... Oh, that one isn't quite set yet. The one that I used, the Tombow glue, and I may need to put a little bit more on that. Um, clearly, the adhesive sheet does the best job. Um, and is the cleanest because even using your tape runner on the back of it on the silicone mat um, there is a tiny bit goes on the outside now I I'll be stamping another birthday down here and somebody who has a birthday in October will surely get this card in the mail um, I want to thank you all for watching today. Um, our next card class is Thursday or Tuesday, October 6th at 10, 2, and 6, and Thursday, October 8th at 2 and 6. If you have any questions about anything that I've um, gone over here today, please let me know, and um, have a wonderful rest of the day.